Hey friends, it's Melissa from ASP. Thank you very much for your patience with an update. I know many of you have been reaching out, um, trying to ask how you can help and, and ready to come and volunteer or donate materials and we appreciate that like crazy. Um, so let me just give you an update of what's been happening since the last time I've talked with you. Our staff have been out in the field surveying um, communities and meeting neighbors in need. Um, and it's it's been very, very difficult. Uh, the damage is hard to describe with words. It's, it's difficult to even show um, accurately in pictures and videos. And um, in some places, uh, people have started mucking out homes um, and, and are, are starting to, to get to the point where they can um, see some next steps in front of them. In other places, um, we're, we're literally uncovering more bad news. And uh, we know that there are still a number of people missing and um, the days are likely to get a bit harder uh, before they get better. Uh, but we know that they will get better eventually. We're just meeting many uh, families and neighbors and friends and loved ones that are experiencing a significant amount of, of loss and pain and devastation. Um, you know at this point that the hurricane damage up here was like nothing that we've ever seen. Uh, the water was higher than it has been in recordable history. Um, it's not the type of thing that we generally need to prepare for here. And many families had minutes uh, to evacuate their homes to safety. Um, and some were not lucky enough to be able to do it. Um, so our community is reeling. Um, our staff is reeling. We have um, this is our community, and so we have friends and family that have been um, deeply affected um, in this event. But we are grateful to be a part of the solution, and we will be a part of the solution. Um, so thank you for your enthusiasm and love and support. We have been blown away uh, by what has come our way. And thank you for your your patience in, in when is the right time uh, to, to come in. We know that this uh, recovery will be measured in years, not months, and our goal is to build back as quickly as we can, but we can only do that when it is safe to do so, when the infrastructure is in place to be able to do that, um, and once we've made sure that we can put a family back in a place uh, where they can be um, high enough to be safe and, and dry uh, for the future. So we're, we're putting that work in now, um, but hoping to start start building back homes uh, uh, very quickly. We'll keep you updated there. Uh, for now, we have centralized information on our website. Um, so uh, please go and you can, uh, in one place you can refer people if they need our services, they can fill out an application there. Um, you can donate. Every dollar makes a difference. Um, please, please, um, Feel free to share that with your friends and family. Um, the The more money that comes in, uh, the faster we'll be able to do work, um, the more work we'll be able to do, and we will definitely put it um, straight into helping um, disaster survivors uh, as quickly as possible. And then we do want you to volunteer. When it is the right time to bring volunteers, we would love for you to come and help us in the rebuilding effort. So there's a button there that says, I want to volunteer. And you can put down your name to be notified um, when we have dates available um, and, and we'll tell you what skills we need and all of that stuff. So in true ASP fashion, we'll pull together as a big community. Um, and I think in the meantime, we just ask that um, since you love this place, since you love Appalachia um, the way that we do, please keep us in your thoughts. Um, our staff and community are um, navigating a difficult time, but we're in for it um, and we will be here until the recovery is done. Um, this, These are our friends and neighbors. Um, and so uh, don't forget about Appalachia um, as time go, goes on and um, uh, it gets farther and farther away from the news of the disaster, um, please keep us top of mind and, um, and stick with us because we'll, we'll need your help in the years to come. Uh, we'll keep you updated um, and we'll keep you in our prayers. We hope that you will keep us in yours and know that you are loved and appreciated. Thanks, guys.